the Mercury is going to station retrograde because it was down to nine nine percent of its speed. Now it's at zero. So it's it is going to start looking like it's moving backwards. It doesn't really move backwards. And uh Linda and I did a video on and Mercury retrogrades and, and, and how they are a while back. So she will hopefully link into it. Mm-hmm. Or you can look on to the um our YouTube homepage and get the video for what does a Mercury retrograde look like? What does it do? How does it how does it work? Mm-hmm. And and how does it affect us? So very interesting. And it happens about every three times a year. I don't want to go too much into it, but it is uh, going to be changing directions and it's going to be reassessing everything. So with that Mercury uh, video that we did too, we also have a section where you go through all the houses. So if you know where Virgo is in your natal chart, you'll be able to, I'll do a separate little video just on what Mercury retrograde through the houses means. And I'll link to that as well. Mercury is going to be retrograde from the 23rd of August to September 14th. The shadow period is from the 3rd of August to the 30th of September. So even before the Mercury retrograde, there's a kind of a period where it's kind of leading up to it, where you can experience Mercury retrograde type problems. And there's a period after it as well. Typically a time where you might have problems with communications, with cars, with just delays, setbacks, snafus, just, you know, send an email and you forget to put the attachment on and then you don't check your email for three days and, you know, of course it was important. So, you know, it's just a hassle really. But, you know, Mercury's retrograde three times a year. It's just, it's it's just really interesting when you notice that when these things happen, it's often during a Mercury retrograde or during one of its shadow periods. Easy to misunderstand things. We were talking about that Mars, Neptune kind of getting angry because, you know, you don't don't really know why you're angry, but you kind of misdirected anger and that that Mercury didn't come up. If it had kept going forward, it would have actually come up to oppose that uh, Neptune, but it's not going to do it just yet. But, you know, it's, what, five degrees away from an opposition with Neptune, which certainly doesn't help matters. It is definitely within uh, one of the horseshoes. So Mm. it's definitely close. Yeah. So, yeah, typically a time of just, you know, mixed signals, miscommunications, paperwork needs to be redone. You know, you sign 50 papers, but, you know, you forgot to sign on page six. So you've got to go back and redo it. Just... Just pain in the butt things, really. So prepare. That's the whole point of us doing these videos is if you know that it's coming, you can you can rearrange your uh, decision making, your, your life so that you can counteract any negative aspects, you know, these retrograde planets might cause. And, you know... This happens three times a year. So, I mean, sometimes you can't, you know, some people say, oh, don't sign contracts, don't do this, don't do that. But, you know, sometimes you can't avoid it. But that's where double checking that you've got all the details correct, you know, making sure, you know, before you take off to the airport that, oh, yes, I've got my passport, you know, double check the itinerary, you know, is the plane going to leave on time? Allowing a little bit more extra time for that important meeting that you have to get to because there could be traffic congestion. Just little things like that just help remediate that sort of thing. It's going to retrograde back from 21 Virgo all the way back to 8 Virgo. 